Hello. Oh, y'all could tell I was from the South, huh? Y'all was in good voice. <laughs> As mayor of the city of Atlanta, I am so happy. to bring you greetings from the cradle of the civil rights movement in America and the economic and cultural en engine of the South. More than 50 years ago, a unique and unprecedented alliance between forward-leaning white people and Jewish people and black people in Atlanta civic and corporate communities brought our city together at a most fragile and dangerous time. Through the efforts of remarkable leaders, such as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Rabbi Jacob Rothschild, Mayor Ivan Allen, and Coca-Cola's Robert Woodruff, our leaders closed ranks by opening their arms and homes to one another. That relationship and mutual respect continues to this very day. Personally, I've been active with AJC programs for nearly 20 years including my participation in the Black Jewish Coalition and Project Interchange. These encounters never fail to enhance my understanding and appreciation of Israel and its place in the world. It was more than 10 years ago that I first traveled to Israel on a Project Interchange seminar. I co-chaired our delegation. I greatly appreciated the opportunity for education without indoctrination that Project Interchange prides itself on. I know that there are many things we can learn from Israel. Many of the strategies that I pursue as the 59th mayor of Atlanta were informed by my Project Interchange experiences. It's why I wanted to be with you right now. Israeli expertise in areas such as counterterrorism, cybersecurity, water conservation are acclaimed and respected around the world. I had the pleasure of visiting Israel both as Georgia State Senator and as mayor. I saw a vibrant economy filled by innovation and entrepreneurship. I felt a genuine warmth from people everywhere I went. I saw a place where the commitment to achieving peace is a core value that is deeply held. To me, that sounds a lot like Atlanta. It feels like my home. And I will forever embrace the experiences and the impact that Project Interchange afforded me. Today, in this ballroom, we celebrate 35 years of Project Interchange, connecting leaders around the world to Israel. The connections formed and the understanding gained through Project Interchange have, a cre have created a foundation for actions that support our relationship with Israel from Argentina to Azerbaijan, from Michigan to Mumbai. These relationships benefit all of our communities, not just Israel. They improve the lives of millions of people around the world, wherever they are touched. If you walk a short distance from where we're gathered this morning, you will see the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture. Woven into that museum's planning and storytelling are concepts taken from a special Project Interchange delegation. Museum director Lonnie Bunch, who was on a panel with me a few minutes ago, is another Project Interchange alumnus. In fact, during our panel, he talked about his experience. If you walk a little further, if you're in good shape, you can walk over to the Supreme Court of the United States and you'd see Justice Sonia Sotomayor utilizes the experience she gained in Israel through Project Interchange in her approach to law. Members of Congress and current and former staffers at the White House from both political parties utilized the experiences and the relationships that were built through their time together on our trips. In capitals around the world and at embassies here and at the UN, Foreign ministers, ambassadors, and diplomats continue to build their knowledge and stand up for Israel. International journalists have contacts and insights for their news articles that reflect their newfound reality of Israel. And thanks to Project Exchange, university and elected officials reject anti-Israel vitriol and one-sided solutions 
and they're smart enough to know when to stand up. Instead, we have an informed view of Israel and engage powerfully in bilateral partnerships that help our communities at large. Paul Berger, do you happen to know who these people are who are sitting all around you this morning? I want you to pause a minute. Will all the Project Interchange alumni in attendance right now please stand up in this room? Surprise. <laughs> These are just some of the 6,000 alumni from around the world who have been so profoundly influenced by AJC Project Interchange. It's the reason I wanted to be here today. They embody the extraordinary impact and connections to Israel, which your late wife, Deborah Berger, fostered when she founded Project Interchange. They include individuals like Ionis Kousaletis, the foreign minister of Cyprus, Ambassador Aline Suleymanov, Ambassador of Azerbaijan of the United States, Imam Talib Sharif, a founding member of the Muslim Jewish Advisory Council at the AJC, Ambassador Carlos Gianelli, Ambassador of Uruguay to the United States. These extraordinary distinguished decision makers from across the United States and around the world represent Project Interchange alumni from the past 35 years. Mr. Berger, look around you. This is the impact that your beloved wife, Deborah Berger, fostered thir through 35 years of action when she founded Project Interchange. And I wanted you to know. <laughs> this is her legacy, and this is AJC's legacy. Around the world, Project Interchange alumni are at the forefront of the AJC's groundbreaking work with the Latino Jewish Leadership Council, the Muslim Jewish Advisory Council, various government officials, and the diplomatic community. Knowledge is power. And as a result of Project Interchange's educational focus and strategic approach, Israel is stronger and our communities are better off thanks to this great partnership and the power to act collectively. There is a powerful saying which I think about often. What comes from the heart enters the heart. And I hope that you feel that today. And I wanted to be here to say humbly, thank you. <laughs> 